So if we if we kind of rewind, something we were talking about uh, before we kind of line this up was your your decision regarding a few subjects, in, especially in terms of you know mathematics. We'll come to that. You talk. You ended up doing three units of maths, but you actually did two of the units in year eleven. And then there were other things like um, English advanced. You said that was one that you really kind of struggled through. You found that difficult, but you ended up doing super well. Like you're like 97 in that, which, you know, you're just right there with the state rank achievers there. Right. So um, I, it'd be interesting to kind of go through a few of these subjects and you just give me your thoughts and experiences on it. And then we can dive into a few of your tips and study study strategies for those subjects. So maybe we do start with maths because technically you were already doing the HSC in year 11 with the accelerated course. So uh, run me through that. How was, how was that experience and what's your perspective on that now having done the third unit just in year 12? Do you think you should have done it differently? Run us through that. Yeah, well, I think it definitely has some um, positives and negatives. Obviously, I had two less units to do in year 12, which was great. I mean, I had a lot more time to focus on extension one, um, which I definitely needed. I think I would have been overwhelmed juggling two of them. Um, however, like I said to you before, starting, I mean, I started the year 12 content at the end of year 10. Um, so at that point, I didn't really understand how the um, HSC assessments worked and that kind of thing and how they all really matter towards your final mark. Mm. Um, so in retrospect, probably having that knowledge would have meant I took it a bit more seriously in year 10. I mean, obviously I tried hard and got a good result, but yeah, I think that's something to keep in mind that if you're starting it so early, especially because like none of my friends were really doing it. I mean, I had all my maths friends, but outside of that, mm. yeah, that's just kind of not the same, but yeah. Yeah, one, one thing I thought would be quite difficult is doing the two units, taking it and just doing the third unit because it's kind of a paradox in, in some ways that yes, you have two less units of time. So you have a lot of time to focus on that third unit, but sometimes I find that having the full three units at once, it all kind of blends together. So it's almost easier, three units almost easier when you're doing two unit yes. right behind it. I mean, what, what, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I know obviously a lot of the content relates. So some of that was hard to think back to a year ago to kind of build on that. Um, although I was in a class of people who were all in the same boat. So I guess that helped. And I had an amazing teacher who really stepped through everything. Mm. So I was lucky in that sense. But yeah, if it was the other case, I know... Um, like one of the girls who didn't do accelerated and was taking extension two, obviously was doing advanced extension one and extension two all at the same time. Mm. So, I mean, maths is kind of tricky in that sense that you don't take the advanced if you're doing extension two, but yeah, I feel like in the end it was probably the right decision not to do it again. But yeah, I mean, it was the two units that didn't count towards my ATAR anyway, but yeah. yeah. Did you ever contemplate doing four units? Um, I actually started in it. I like did it for kind of like half a term just to give it a go. I kind of knew I was never going to keep it. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I just knew that I would need that time to focus on other subjects if I was going to do extension one. Yeah, fair enough. And I think, you know, extension two maths is another beast. So it yeah, might, might, might have been for the best. <laughs> yeah. 